Welcome back, everybody, to our channel. Katrina's Corner, so it's my channel. I just yeah. let him yeah, be I'm a part just, of it. I just thank you. I'm it. so honored. You should be. Special guest appearances. Yes. Sorry, Oops. but apparently we're already having another special guest appearance. It's Hercules, everybody. It's Hercules. Behold. This is a little baby boy. Oh, no kisses, please. Oh. Yep, all the kisses. Mm. Okay, so anyway, now let's actually talk about what we came yeah. to talk about. We are discussing our top three favorite restaurants in Epcot. If you haven't seen our other Epcot videos, go back because I've already posted them. This will be the last in the Epcot series. But my third favorite Ooh. is... Before we get to the restaurants, we should, we should, I think we should preface, Epcot has probably the best food in Disney World, maybe other than Disney Springs. True facts. Everything here is excellent in the World Showcase. I haven't, we haven't had really anything outside of World Showcase because the World Showcase food is too good. I haven't eaten anything at Epcot that I did not like that I went into it thinking I wouldn't. Like, I was like, eh, I don't really like this component of it, but maybe I'll like it because I like this piece. Yeah. So, like, anything that... Except for, like, maybe not liking an individual food. Like, you have a salad and you don't like the tomatoes or something. But, like, everything has been great quality food. Yes. There's been nothing that we haven't, like, liked because of the quality or how it was prepared. Yeah, everything's cooked perfectly and that the quality of the food is bar none. Mm -hmm. So, if you, anytime you eat an Epcot, you don't have to worry about anything like that. Yeah, no, it's, it. Everything's fantastic. It really is. And any restaurant you won't be upset with, especially in the back on the World Showcase, quick service or not. Yeah. You'll, it's great. But these just happen to be our favorites yeah. based on our personal preferences and exactly. how we like to eat, which is a lot covered in cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love cheese. Um, I like how I make this joke and my first thing doesn't have any dairy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but um, so my third is the Katsura Grill, which is the quick service yeah. in Japan. Yes. So it was kind of not tricky to find but it was tucked back there so if you didn't know about it you kind of had to look so yeah you, you, you could you could miss it fairly easy if you like really aren't like looking too too hard for it but, i had never seen it yeah so but like once it's pointed out to you like wow how did i miss that yeah it yeah. becomes like so glaringly obvious so when you go back into the japan pavilion it's up more towards the left right and there's yeah. like some stairs yeah up it's, it's up it's up on like a little hill yeah it's like past like a waterfall because mm -hmm. i remember taking my would, picture near a water yeah. feature, and it was, like, right at the bottom of it. It's very pretty up near that restaurant, too. Very pretty. The pictures I got that night, though, turned out horrible because it was so dark. Mm -hmm. Like, we went and had dinner, like, late. It was, like, an 8 o'clock dinner. Yeah. But they didn't have a lot of lighting up there. So if you do have, like, vision impairedness, I would not recommend eating up there at nighttime because... I do not, like, I know I wear glasses, I know we both wear glasses, but it's not, like, dark or light that affects us. Like, I can't see far away. Yeah. So, um, but I almost tripped on the stairs because it is <laughs> very dark. Yeah. Um, but to, on the food. Yeah, sorry. Back, yeah, back to we're, the food. <laughs> we're, like, three and a half minutes in and I haven't said anything about food. Yeah. Um, it's great. We got noodles there. Yeah. Um, I got a, uh, a pork ramen noodle bowl and then sh I... You had gotten shrimp udon noodles? I think that's what it was. I had never had them before. They were so good. Yeah, I've been telling her to eat noodle noodles for I don't know how long at this point. They're delicious. Back to the whole, like, I'm three years old. I don't like trying new things. Mm -hmm. I know. Ugh. I've been trying though. Yeah, I've been she's trying. a huge little food baby. I am, I am. But anyway, they were delicious. So if you like noodles and, like, that kind of stuff yeah. anyway, they were great. They yeah. also have sushi. So if you like sushi. I don't care for it. I've had it several times, several different types just not for me. I love it. I think it's great. Um, sure. I didn't get any when we went there, but I saw people and I saw it come out. It looked phenomenal, and I immediately mm -hmm. regretted not getting some. <laughs> like, well, like the the quality of the noodles is excellent. Everything was like nice and like hot, and you know the the broth was like savory with like a little bit a little bit of fishiness to it. Just be like just how the broth is, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like overpowering and. It wasn't too, for ramen. It to say it was not too salty is great because ramen is just extremely salty, anyways. Yeah. So it would have like a really nice balance of like savory umami flavors without being like overly salted. Yeah, 
it was really really good and i like that they have indoor and outdoor seating mm -hmm. um and so i don't know if, if you've ever gone to um disney a quick service is like how you go up you order your food and then you go find yeah a table. it's like like a, like a chipotle basically that's like the that's best equivalent that's a perfect example if you've ever gone to a chipotle or like a five guys you know something like that yeah it's not it's not like McDonald's food. It's nice no. food, but you just go get it. They just don't have waitresses yeah. it's and waiters. It's a fast casual, I believe, is like the technical term for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. that might be what it's so. called. But um, yeah, I really liked that one. I thought it was really good. Um, the food was delicious, and the next time I go, I'm definitely getting a big plate of sushi from there. Yeah, you can add all you, all <laughs> you, my dude, all you. All so, right, what's your My favorite? third favorite restaurant, which I would say is probably a hidden gem in Epcot, because people are babies and don't like to try different things or like I have went, exotic I didn't palettes. Even I made it I go. Went, I went and didn't complain. It is the table service restaurant. It's like your normal sit down style restaurant. Like um, with waiters in, and waitresses. Yep. The table service restaurant in Morocco called Restaurant Marrakesh. This place was phenomenal. The food was delicious. The service was phenomenal. Amazing. I I'm I used to uh, wait tables and I'm kind of a service snob. I really, if I, because I can cook well, so I go for the service. Yeah. I know how to cook. I, yeah. So I, when I go to a restaurant, it's for the service and the atmosphere mm -hmm. because I can make the food myself. Yeah, the the, like, with the atmosphere, the atmosphere was, was wonderful. Was phenomenal. This restaurant hit all the stars. Was, the restaurant itself was gorgeous. It was what, probably like one of the most interesting restaurants to like just look at. It was just, beautiful. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely, absolutely beautiful. beautiful. And they have um, belly dancers, and they yeah. let the little kids go up and dance. And when we, whoa, hi! When we went there, there was this little boy, and his mom went up there with him because the boy was like maybe two. Yeah. And he was like, "I want to show my belly too," and yeah, he, was, he was like trying to take his off. shirt was, off, and mom was funny. trying to keep the shirt on, and like the belly dancer <laughs> like took it off, was like, "No, nah, let's dance." <laughs> it was really cute, um, but. The what? food was so oh good. Oh my god, delicious. The dessert. What was those little things? Oh, I don't remember what they were. I, I don't remember what they were either, but they were like these little like almost fried donut like things. Yeah. They were very good. I only got to try some because the waiter had come over. They were so nice. And, and <laughs> asked us how we enjoyed the dessert. And so I'm like, I really liked mine, but I didn't even get to try any hers because she wouldn't let me. And he's like, <laughs> oh, that's no that's no problem. He went out and he got us a sample size of each of the desserts that we got so we could try each other's. <laughs> I know, it was crazy. The only thing that I did not like about this restaurant, and it's such a minor thing, and if you like these this type of food, it wouldn't even bother you. I don't like olive salad. Like oh olives my God, I as love like a olives. side. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, and that was what oh. came with mine. Yeah. And I just Yeah, she wasn't about it, so I got to eat her olives. Oh, and I got to eat his carrots, so it was yeah. fine. But yeah, I, what did, what did you get? I had gotten a um a short rib dish, and the short ribs were like, you look at them, really, like, they just start falling apart. You just eat them with a spoon. They were so like tender and moist and robust and flavorful. He just likes saying that word for the, like the ten percent that hates moist. that word. <laughs> um, I got the chicken skewers, and yes, because uh, they were like the most plain thing I could order. Um, and couscous, and, and that couscous was great. Was, couscous was really good. Um, we got a starter too, but I can't remember what we got. I don't remember. It, what was it was like some kind of like hummus thing, I think. Was it like just like a hummus plate? It might have been just like a hummus plate. I'm new to the hummus world. I like what I like with it, and I don't like trying any crazy flavors. I need an obscene amount of hummus. <laughs> if we go through <laughs> an obscene amount of hummus, but uh, great, great food. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, the service was phenomenal. Which best service in Disney World. Which you would expect in Disney. You're paying not to just get into the park. Now I'm paying for food. Yeah. So like you would expect to have good service. And we did. I don't recall ever. Hi handsome. I don't recall ever asking to see the manager at a restaurant in Disney to give such a positive review. Like. Yeah. Because no normally if we have. If we ask to see a manager we're not complaining about something that happened. We like to let people know when they're doing a great job. I know yeah. it's a very caring thing to be like, I need to talk to your manager. No, when I do it, it's, <laughs> I want to be like, this person did a great job. They yes. should get a raise. Like, yeah, we don't like to do I'm it not a Karen. Yeah. He's not a Karen. We're not Karens. 
Sorry, Karen's. If you're watching this, please subscribe anyway. Yeah. We still love you. <laughs> please. <laughs> well, what's your next restaurant that you enjoy? I couldn't really pick a second one. I have... I have to go with the festivals in, um, the festival like carts in France. I love all the festival food there. They always have something that's phenomenal. I wish you guys could see him. I'm going to tilt this just for a second. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the works. But like, he he's is wiggling. just... He's got to get a stankiness He's got to get... Me. We went and saw other dogs today, so he's like, gotta, gotta put... re stink us. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Yeah. So the festivals in France, like the art festival and the food and wine and the garden, um... Flower and garden festival, they always have, um, a cart out. And even the cart that they have out all the time, the booze cart. Yeah. The yeah. booze the, cart, the, man. The lemon drink, the lemon slush they have there delicious so refreshing and like tart and it's got that like little bite of alcohol in the end so it lets you know that you're drinking something boozy two of those and you're you're stumbling and i get two <laughs> um but for the food part of it the last time i was there for a festival they had this um brie stuffed cheese Oh, brie stuffed cheese. Yeah, <laughs> brie. It was it was a brie it was a bread a, bowl. Yeah, it was a bread bowl with melted brie in it. Oh my god, that was. It was so, like a mini one. So it yeah, was like it was tiny. Big. It was a little expensive, but worth it because it was so good. It was so good. Then they had um, this molten chocolate cake, which was she phenomenal. loves molten chocolate cake. Phenomenal, and then they had phenomenal. Um, a drink. I can't remember what it was, but literally probably all. something with Grey Goose in it. Or yeah, all, all of the drinks, and you can't go wrong. They're all delicious. Yeah, but literally any of the carts, festival wise, or this booze cart, or they have like a mini bakery in the back. I know it's not a cart, but I'm talking like well, the small, the small. Ba the bakery in the back isn't really small. The bakery back there is a pretty big operation. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, you're not going to eat that for just a meal, is what I'm referring yeah, to. Yeah. Okay. Right now. Okay. So anything that you would just get a snack. In France. Yeah, the snacks in France are very good. Phenomenal. Oh, my second favorite restaurant in Disney World, or in at least in Epcot, she hates it. Just because for, I'm a fuss. for a multitude of reasons. Just because I'm a fuss. <laughs> is the Oktoberfest restaurant in Germany. The full sit down table service restaurant. I absolutely love it. I hate it. So the basis of this restaurant is it's supposed to take place outside at night during an Oktoberfest celebration. So the way the tables are set up is it's tables of eight, but you will be sitting with, you know... Other people! Other, <laughs> ew, ew, people! I, mean, I want to sit with people them! People right now, ill, but yeah, back right then now, before yeah. this, you know, pandemic, you would sit at a table with eight people to do that. try and, like, simulate how the feel of those events are supposed to be. It's supposed to be, like, a really big communal party and all this other stuff. So you sit at the table with um, eight people, and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet of German food. You got your bratwurst, you got your sauerkraut, you got your pretzel rolls, all sorts of cold salads, some actually some good fish that she had there. I would like to prefix, I don't like it because I don't like people. She, right, she doesn't like people. I don't like polka music. There is a live polka band that plays to serenade you while you're enjoying your dinner. I don't eat pork. Yeah. The, and I don't like beer. <laughs> so it like checks off like everything that she hates. <laughs> and everything he loves. Oh my God. So I went and I don't want to go again, but I, at some point I will because I love him. But yeah, man. Next time. Mm -hmm. Fine. No, you still like, you still like the food. I loved the salmon and that mac and cheese. Oh, and the, the noodle gratin was oh, oh But oh. like talk about like a little, like not a little kid cause salmon, but like there was chicken nuggets. I would have been all about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the beer you can get there is traditional German beer that's you know made in Germany and they export it back in here, and you can get sizes that are one liter. These glasses are like this wide around and they're that tall. They're massive. It was bigger than his head. I it was hope, huge. I hope I can find that photo because I'll put it in. But man, I was I was through the moon with all the food. That the food there that well she doesn't like pork, so she didn't eat a lot of it. Was excellent. The pork schnitzel was cooked perfectly, juicy, tender, crispy. The hunter sauce that would go with it had a nice, you know, deep richness with like the mushrooms and the onions that were in there. The bratwurst was excellent. The pretzel rolls were plentiful and warm and soft. So just the like prefix, like when we were talking about how all of it is really good, it's all about your personal preferences. Yes. 
This is why I don't like this restaurant. I just yeah. don't care for the style. Yeah, things. it's just the, the, the food is great. That I could eat. Is it my turn? Yeah, you. The things that I could <laughs> eat were delicious. I'm not going to take that away from that restaurant. Yeah. They had wine, and I'm a big wine head. I love it. This is, uh, salmon was like a Dijon maple salmon. Yeah, it was like it a mustard sauce of amazing. some sort. Amazing. The mac and cheese, amazing. They had um, some like salad selections I yeah. could eat. Um, I asked someone, just so I was like, just tell me what has pork in it, just so I know. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was going to be a lot, but yeah. they had a couple salad options, a couple veggie options I could eat. They had some really good roast chicken, too. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think you had gotten any. It was probably because that salmon was so good. <laughs> yeah, yes, you got to load up on that. But they did have roast chicken. That was also excellent. Hmm. I don't. I believe him. I just don't remember. <laughs> um, and the bread. Can't go wrong with bread. Yeah, no. So oh, I love. If that's the kind of food you like, it's absolutely great. Like you said, yeah. it's just not just not her personal preference. And like mm -hmm. that's why we prefaced at the beginning of the ep this episode. All the food there is amazing. Yeah. It's what just, I did like was awesome, and I'm yes. not going to take that away from Yeah, it's, it's all excellent. It's just, you know, that's one of the reasons why we like Epcot so much with, when it comes to dining options. It's just, there's just so many options for everybody's palate. There's something for everybody there. And the weirdest thing that I found, um, my brother and my mother, my stepmother um, are all vegan. Oh, my uncles are, so I have a lot of vegan family members. And I was thinking about going to Disney with my brother at one point, and we were looking up where we could eat. And this German restaurant with all the pork yeah. was on the top five list for one of like the Disney vegan followers. And I was like, really? Because apparently all of the sides, like all like the beet salads, and oh, the beet salad was actually really good. I hate um, beets. Potato salad and like all that kind of stuff, and then all the greens and all the vegetables were all vegan. Like they didn't have any butter in it. Yeah. And so, this weirdly enough, there was a lot of options. So if you yeah. do like that kind of food and you are a vegan and you're going with people that like that kind yeah. of stuff, you'll be okay. Yeah. There was tons there. Yeah. And what's what, since you know you bring up the topic of veganism. There's a lot of like really healthy options with all these restaurants too. If you're like more health conscious and like you're gonna have diet restrictions and stuff like that, it's super easy to customize and like order anything to fit your dietary restrictions and needs. Mm -hmm. And if they, if you go up there and you are having a hard time finding something based on what you can and cannot eat, and if it's an allergy or if it's just you don't want to eat it, um, you can just ask your server and a cook, um, a chef will come out and discuss what you can eat and what you mm -hmm. can't eat and they will make you something and if you're at a buffet setting they will still do that the server will just ask if you would like more if you want him to try something yeah. different or yeah so so it'll still be all you care to enjoy even if you're not getting something strictly off the buffet yeah so if you're reading that menu and you're just like uh, maybe it'll work maybe it won't and you're one person and everyone else wants to go Disney will You'll make be it able work. To find Disney something. will make it work. So. Even if you're, you know, have any kind of like trepidations about any of this stuff, don't worry. Disney makes it happen. Yeah, they, yeah, they will. All right. Are you ready for our most favorite restaurant yes. in all of Epcot? It's so good. It was really good. This I'm going to let him great. say it just because I can never remember what it's called. I <laughs> so, just said that one. The good one. <laughs> <laughs> the good one. So the <laughs> restaurant that we like the most is. Probably no surprise to anybody at this point. It's a Mexican restaurant in World Showcase. But it is the restaurant located outside of the big pavilion in Mexico. It's not inside the pyramid. It is, I believe the name of the restaurant is La Cantina de la San Angel. So it's the outside one. So you're going into World Showcase. It's going to be off to the left if you're... It's going to be off to the right if the big pyramid's on your left. Oh, yeah, it's the opposite side. Yeah, so it's, like, it's the opposite side, the like, directly is, across. Look the other way. The food there was unbelievably good. So good. It shares the same kitchen with the quick service. So if you tried the quick service or if you have tried the quick service, you'll like this. Yes. Um, but it's only dinner. So it's, like, 4 o'clock and later. Phenomenal. Yeah. The service was great. great. If you hit it right, you can absolutely watch um, the fireworks show at the end. Yep. Yeah, they have... Outside, not outside seating, but they have win window seats that look over into the showcase, uh, showcase lagoon. A lot of them, and you wouldn't even necessarily need to have a window seat to see it. Yeah, because these windows are like almost they're, four. They're to very ceiling. tall. Yeah. 
Um, the service was incredible. She was awesome. We've only been once there, and uh, the server was amazing. She yeah. did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. But I liked it because whatever you ordered, so I ordered the shrimp tacos. Yep. Oh, best tacos I think I've ever had. Yeah. But I... they... <laughs> <laughs> but they um, serve the sides, like, family style. Yes. So, like, they brought out, like, a big pile of, like... Uh, refried beans and like fried rice and, and chips like, and salsa chips and salsa and, and like, like whatever like all like the normal the, like all the sides that you normally get with your meals at most Mexican restaurants but there's like big extra portions so for everybody to share yeah exactly so if you're ever worried about like say you wanted to get like one particular dish but you're worried that you weren't going to get beans or rice because you like the beans or rice don't worry because it comes with it yeah anything you order even if you're not into it and you order a burger and fries it's still gonna come with it so yeah. if you don't like it and you're not gonna eat it maybe tell them that so that it's not just going right in the trash we don't or you can just food. you know bring it back to the hotel with you and mix in your beans and some rice and you got beans and rice ready to go this is delicious well yeah but i was talking about <laughs> the people that might not like that well, who doesn't like refried beans and spanish rice there are people we call them weirdos we but do we still want you to subscribe <laughs> and follow us so, but what did you get? Oh, I, I got in carne asada. It was cooked. It was, Admittedly, mine was a little overcooked than how I wanted. And I don't like to cause a scene, so I didn't want to like send it back or anything. My Disney cup, sorry. Yes. But even though it was a little more overcooked than I normally like, it was still delicious. It was still, you know, flavorful and had all the right seasonings. Let's say he ate it all. Let's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, I'm not missing any words. I ate all of it. But it came with this, like, fried cheese. Thing. Yeah, it just came with, like, a piece of fried cheese. It was so good. <laughs> I ate a lot of I it. I had one piece of it. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. And then she took the rest. Oh, oh. some people on some motorcycles rolling by. Don't mind the noise and the screaming dogs. It did pretty good, though. If you're new here, this is the thing that happens all the time. If you're not new, you, you hear this. You hear this. This is our real life. We're yep. real life people here. We're real life people here. But the food was great. The server was amazing. The atmosphere was excellent. There's so many like beautiful decorations. And since it's dinner time, like the restaurant was a little dark. dark. A little it was cozier. a little dark. It was really like cozy, and you yeah. felt for like how many people that were in that restaurant. There was a ton of people there because there was a ton of tables, ton of booths, plenty of seating. Because of like. The way the lighting was and how dark the restaurant itself was, you, you felt like you were with your person. You know, not like you were with the whole room. You know, sometimes our sun's yeah. like really loud. And when it's really bright, you notice everything that's going on. And since it was so dark, you kind of, you got to focus on, you know, what was in front of you because you couldn't really see too much of what was elsewhere. Yeah. Um, this being said, this is a pretty expensive restaurant. Yes. I believe the cheapest meal there is $25. So it's... And, and this was a couple years ago, so it might even be more. Yeah, it was point. pricey, but it was um, worth it. But it does go with the dining plan. So if you are staying on like Disney mm -hmm. property and you're doing it like a ticket, um, a ticket, um, like a plan, like a vacation plan, there we yeah. go. Um, it is covered underneath the dining credit if you choose to do that. But and it's not your dining credits do come on with an alcoholic drink. You get some margaritas. Tequila is my most favorite. Yeah, she's a tequila fiend. So I got a um, like a blackberry margarita or mixed berry. It was really dark, so I know there was blackberries in it. Wow. That was so good. I had beer. Yeah, he always gets <laughs> beer. He has no fun. He doesn't try anything. He's just beer. And then I all like the beer people are like, there's change. so many types of beer. See? There are. I know there are, but beer's boring. Beer is delicious. You don't know what you're talking about. We got these um, for an appetizer there. What were they? Flautas. They were like, they were like the, the, chicken the, wontons. They weren't wontons. The best equivalent is like, you know, taquitos, like those little tiny roll tortillas with like the oh, chicken and cheese Oh, but so stuff much down. better. Don't listen to him. Well, the, the, the same, same concept, same but like 10,000 times better. So, so good. And what did we get for dessert? We got flan and we got churros. I think so. Those were really good. Um, the flan was... Okay. And I think that was more of a me thing. I think I had never had it, and I was like, I want to try it. Yeah, so I never, I never had flan either, and it wasn't like my most favorite thing. Yeah. But the churros were very good. Yep, those were delicious. Who doesn't like who doesn't like deep fried dough with cinnamon and sugar? I mean, come on. 
is see Fredo with cinnamon sugar and some honey or some chocolate or whatever thing you choose to pour over it and dip it into. Mm -hmm. All of the good. above for me. But I also think that we didn't like the desserts so much because we are like already bursting at the seams at this point anyways they're like oh here comes dessert we're like oh gonna die so full because <laughs> no one wants to carry their food around in a amusement yeah. park like we had things to do we had rides to ride <laughs> yeah the best thing to do after that is to go on the three caballeros and just kind of like veg out for like five minutes while you're just kind of farting around yeah go check out my world showcase ride and that discuss discusses this ride that we're talking about but it's a cute little boat ride in the yeah. mexico pavilion yeah because you need to like waddle over somewhere where you can just kind of like chill because yeah. you you will be full yes you will be eating too much because it is too delicious to not yeah if you're not on the dining plan this is a place i would recommend where you get like an app one meal to share and like a dessert to share yes. so that you can get like great tasting food but not being yeah. so. And I had regret getting my carne asada when I saw her shrimp tacos come out because they just looked so just so incredibly good. If you've ever been there and you've had um, the Mexico Pavilion, not last year, but the year before, the food and wine festival, those that was the shrimp taco. Yeah, and it, the, the meal comes with four shrimp tacos, so that's a pretty good amount of tacos. So if you get an app, split the tacos with one person, you get two tacos each, and then you get a dessert. That's still plenty of food with everybody because it comes with the beans, the rice, the chips, the salsa. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure it's unlimited chips and salsa too, like any Mexican restaurant. So you can just destroy yeah. tortilla chips. <laughs> and we did. Hercules, um, hey, get away from that. He was investigating the tomato plant, putting yeah. his lips on it. So cold yesterday here. It was snowing. It's yeah, May May. It was snowing. What the heck is that? Ugh. Ugh. All right. So at the end of this, we're gonna put in um some clips, some photos yeah. of our favorite restaurants. If I can find the food that we had from our past trips, I'm going to put them in. But I don't make any promises. I'm really sorry. Yeah, because we'd see it and then it would be destroyed before we took pictures of it. Yeah. If I know I have a couple, but I don't think I have a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to find yep. the photos. And I'm going to put in some uh, photos of like what the restaurant's looking like. Especially for this Mexico one, because we're not quite yep. sure what it's called. Because it's called The Good One. <laughs> yeah, The Good One. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to us yap our traps for almost 30 minutes. We appreciate you. Yeah, please. Continue <laughs> to do so. That yes, would be wonderful. Continue to do so, so make sure you put a comment in the bottom if uh, you were surprised on our list. What it would be your top three, if uh, any of it matches your list. Yeah. And let us know what particular items that you enjoy off the restaurants that we had. If there's anything that we did not cover, or if there's anything yeah. that you think it was surprisingly delicious. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. Let and us make know. sure to like, comment, and subscribe on all those videos so you know when we're posting to get updated immediately. Yes. Because we're bringing you the hard-hitting facts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Bye.